Hi guys. This is Mr. Farmer. There are a lot of farmer professional who is looking mainly to have a better understanding in regulatory affairs. We have today collaborated with Regulatory Affairs Council YouTube channel. This channel is dedicated in discussing topics about pharmaceutical regulatory affairs. If you're a pharma professional you must subscribe and follow this channel too. If you are a regulatory affairs professional this is the point of contact as they will be discussing all the pharma regulatory topics from basics to the advanced level on regular basis. Today we shall see an overview of regulatory affairs and understand the basics in simple terms and by the end of this video of you will completely understand. What is regulatory affairs? Its scope. The roles of regulatory affairs professional, the qualifications and skill needed, the divisions in regulatory affairs, salary per year. Few of the health agencies, some of the regulatory service providers, and current emerging trends in pharma regulatory, etc. Welcome guys this is Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share, and grow. The word regulate means standardize and word affairs means businesses. In general, the word in regulatory affairs means standardize businesses. Why do you need to regulate the pharma industry? The pharmaceutical industry is interlinked with the quality, safety and efficacy of a product and needs to be regulated as there is a huge risk to the public health if not organized and standardized. The need for professional advice is essential and hence to standardize the pharma business. Regulatory Affairs Department is required in each pharma company. Regulatory professionals are not only in the pharmaceutical industry, but they are also present in biopharmaceuticals, medical devices, food and nutrition, and cosmetics, etc. What is Regulatory Affairs? In simple terms, we can say that the Regulatory Affairs Department is a team of professional members who act as the bond or linking bridge between the pharmaceutical company and global health authorities and ensuring that the product meets the health authority standards. The members who work with Regulatory Affairs Department are called Regulatory Affairs Professionals. What is the scope? Regulatory Affairs Discipline plays an important role in global health and because of that, the job market is growing. As long as medicinal products are there which needs to be regulated and regulatory affairs jobs and growth will be there. The regulatory affairs field will continue to grow at an average rate of 8%. Regulatory affairs professional combines scientific, legal, and business knowledge to ensure products, which are developed, manufactured, or distributed by the company, meet the required health authority criteria. Here the term product means any final product from pharmaceuticals, medical devices, in vitro diagnostics, biologics and biotechnology, nutritional products, cosmetics, and veterinary industry. Our focus is on the pharmaceutical department, especially on drugs, biologics and medical devices. The role and responsibilities of a regulatory affairs professional are to assure that a firm's products comply with the regulations of the regions where it is planned for marketing. To monitor national and international legislation, guidelines. To document and maintain new product licenses and license renewals. Prepare, monitor, and set timelines for different submissions. To create product dossiers. To ensure other departments follow regulatory requirements to manage and involve regulatory inspections, to interact with regulatory authorities and handle health authority queries. The various divisions within regulatory affairs are, a project management team manages the product portfolio of the company, submission management team plans and manage and submit the product submissions to health agencies, life cycle management team manage the product's life cycle in electronic databases, CMC team authors and work on the product development and changes from end to end in module 3. 
Preclinical and clinical team authors and work on the product development changes from end to end in module 4 and 5. Labeling team author and work on the product development changes from end to end in labeling stages. Regulatory intelligence team collect and share details on evolving changes of the regulatory market. Regulatory publishing team create dossiers, product information in electronic document PDFs using XML language. In order to become a regulatory affairs professional, a master or bachelor's degree in the field of science, especially pharmacy, is highly desired. However, professionals with essential skills in life sciences, clinical sciences, management, and writing are also chosen for this job. The skills such as key knowledge in current pharma regulations, good communication skills, excellent computer skills, project management skills, a global perspective on pharma. Hands-on experience on it tools. Judgment skills and presentation skills are acquired and expected. Here you can see what are the different designation titles that are used for regulatory affairs professional, based on the experience in years. What is the salary of a regulatory affairs professional? The salaries vary depending on the type of company, location, qualifications, and experience. Here in the table, you can see the average salary of a regulatory affairs professional. The working hours are mostly 8 or 9 hours job, but maybe in a few cases extra hours to meet tight deadlines, but generally not weekends or shifts. Mostly the work module is a regular work, some time in the shift and part-time work not preferred. Here you can see a couple of the international organizations and a few of the country names with their well-renowned national health agencies for your view. Health agencies define their laws according to their requirements in their country and generally vary from country to country in the administrative section. We will look at common technical modules and their sections in the upcoming videos. Usually, every pharma company have their own regulatory affairs department. Also, there are many regulatory services providing companies, which help the pharma companies in doing their regulatory affairs work like ICVIA, Perexel, Pro Health Sciences, PPD, ICON, Covents. Let's see the current emerging trends in regulatory affairs in the future. Automation and AI-influenced tools for product life cycle management. Mergers and acquisitions with robotic process automation. Patient data compliance using cybersecurity and blockchain technologies. Big data and analytics using Python programming. Drug discovery using data mapping. Patient compliance using nanotechnology and virtual reality and wearables. Hope you like this video. Encourage us by hitting the like button. If you have any question, post it in the comments and share this video to your friends and family. Most importantly, subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications from our Pharma Portal channel. Bye.